I want you to live the dream because I'm not living the dream because I'm special. I'm living the dream because I was obedient to the call of the dream. So I want you to leave here today thinking about what is the dream for you? What is God's dream for you? What does the creator's dream hold for you? So often we spend our lives wishing and hoping and hoping and wishing and desiring things. This is what I know for sure. You don't get what you wish for. You don't even get what you hope for. You get what you believe. So what is it you believe and know to be God's dream for you? The dream is greater than anything that I could have imagined. And I used to dream the dream driving through the white people's neighborhoods. We drive through white people's neighborhoods and you'd see their fancy houses. Some of them had gates, but all of them had trees. And I remember when I first came to Baltimore, I, I, I made friends with a wonderful woman named Arlene Weiner. She was the wealthiest person I'd ever met. And I went to her house. Once I got inside, I could see from her kitchen window six trees in the front yard. I thought, oh, rich people have trees. So. As life would have it, I was standing in my kitchen window about three years ago in California, making coffee in the morning, and I was looking out the window, and I saw the six trees. But listen to me. I was making, making, making the coffee. I saw the six trees. I went out on the porch to actually count the six trees, and this is what I noticed that I could dream the six, but beyond the six trees in my kitchen window are 3,687 trees. I dreamed the six. That's as much as my, 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 my small mind and my imagination could hold for myself. I dreamed the six, but God can see beyond the six. can see beyond the six because there was a bigger dream for me and I'm here to tell you there is a bigger dream for you essence there's a bigger dream and so the key the secret the magic is to surrender to God's dream for you to quit fighting against and pushing against and disallowing against and resisting against and trying to tell the creator, the universal forces, divine intelligence, what you are supposed to do and get still and know for sure what his dream, the dream is for you. The third law of motion in physics says, for every action, it's called Newton's law, and it says for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. So what does that mean? That means everything that you are putting out into the world, every action, bam, there is an equal and opposite reaction. It means no matter what you do, the energy of what you do, what you say, and most important, the energy of who you are is going out into the world, into your home, into your relationships, and that energy is always coming back to you. You are responsible for the energy that you are pulling out into the world because that very energy, bam, is coming right back to you every single time, whether you believe it or not, because it is law. It is law. It is law that what you put out into the world is coming back. Before you even think about a thing, you have an intention for the thing. And that the intention is going to determine the outcome. That's why the same people can go to the same church service and somebody walk down the aisle just to be seen to put some money in the church and somebody else who just goes and just has a little bit to offer 
the intention with which you give, the intention with which you serve determines the outcome.